Amy Nay's journey from Portland's underground scene to hip hop stardom is marked by creativity, drive, and a unique sound. Let's explore how Amy Nay became a rising force in music. In 2014, Amy Nay released his debut mixtape, Odyssey to Me, followed by his EP, On Vogue. His second mixtape, Calling Brio, dropped in 2015, laying the foundation for his breakout moment. In 2016, Amy Nay's debut single, Caroline, took off, reaching number 11 on the Billboard Hot 100 and earning triple platinum certification. Soon after, he signed with Republic Records and performed Caroline on The Tonight Show. If you want safe, say, baby, use a knee pad. Freaky with the sticky icky, baby, give me kitty kitty. Uh, killer. In 2017, Amine's released Red Mercedes, praised for its throwback sound, followed by a remix featuring Missy Elliott. He was named to XXL's 2017 freshman class, further boosting his visibility. His debut album, Good For You, dropped in July 2017, peaking at number 31 on the Billboard 200. Tracks like Wedding Crashers and Blinds showcased Amy Nay's fun, colorful style. In 2018, Amy Nay released 1.5, showing more humor and introspection. His track Invincible was featured on the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse soundtrack. Amine's second studio album, Limbo, released in 2020, featured hits like Shimmy and Compensating. The album marked a more mature phase of his career. In 2023, Aimeenes collaborated with Ketranada on the album Ketre Mine, blending hip-hop, funk, and electronic music. The hit single for Eva and guest features like Pharrell Williams showcased Aimeenes versatility earning widespread praise and cementing his status as an innovative force in music. From Portland to global stardom, Amine's rise is a testament to his originality and vision, and his journey is far from over. I'm just a man who's stuck in my ways. I don't like the text every day. And my